Yay, I'm I'm doing I'm trying something new this week. I am recording in my office because to be honest with you, it is cold in the room where I usually record. And I didn't feel like putting on a sweatshirt and then I put on a sweatshirt and then I got annoyed and then my phone was dying, but I needed to create this video. It's cool here today, so it's a little cool in the house. So this is just what you're going to get. So week two, Steelers play the Denver Broncos. And as I've mentioned in another video, what I do when my teams are going to play a team, I will watch the team that week and see what I think and see how I feel and see the different things. I will be honest and say the first half Denver looked better than they did the second half. I do. I, I don't know how I feel about the Steelers playing them because as I mentioned before, I don't know what to think about the Steelers. We literally won a game kicking field goals. <laughs> so I don't know what the Steelers team is going to look like this week. I always say I don't make these videos based on how I think the Steelers are going to look per se. I make these videos based on what I know about the Steelers and hopefully that carries me through to being correct. So without further ado, let me just get into this video and let me tell you the three things that I'm looking for for this week and tell you who I think is going to win this game. So without First and foremost, shout out to whoever took this video. I love this background. I love acting like I'm in Pittsburgh. Nothing makes me feel better. Looks like it was on a cold day. So I kind of feel cool at like the picture. But to be honest, I think the Steelers are in for an interesting game. So there's going to be three things that I'm going to be watching for this week. I will say that last week Denver played better in the first half than they did the second half. I think that's what happens when you have a rookie quarterback. However, this is Denver's first home game with their rookie quarterback. So I expect the crowd to be loud. I expect them to be excited and I expect them to be very much into this game. This is obviously the Steelers second game of the season. They're going on the road. After last week's performance, I expect good things from them. I don't know what's going to happen, but I expect it to be good. The other thing that's actually interesting is that I believe Denver lost a running back that they used last week, and I think they lost an offensive lineman, if I'm not mistaken, as well. And so those are things to kind of keep in mind, because as you know, the Steelers defense has been what has been carrying us to victory. And so I don't expect that to change. So before I even take this any further, the first thing I'm going to be looking at for this game is defense, defense, defense. So the Steelers defense, I believe, like they just are what they are. The Steelers are the strength of this team right now. The Steelers defense is the most consistent thing we have going for us. And so this game, in my opinion, is going to come down to how the Steelers defense can trick Bo Nix into making bad decisions. If the Steelers are able to trick Bo Nix and if they're able to get in his head and rattle him and have him make bad decisions, then the Steelers are going to win this game. And so I am going to be focused on defense to see how the defense plays against Bo Nix. I'm going to be looking to see how the secondary plays against Bo Nix. And I'm very curious to see this defense against Bo Nix. So that's the first thing we're going to be looking for. The second thing I'm going to be looking for is our defensive line versus their offensive line. So yes, I just said defense, but this is getting a little bit more particular and focused on our defensive line versus their offensive line. I think we have a better defensive line than they have offensive line. And I don't even think it's close. We have TJ Watt last week, TJ Watt was getting held around his waist and it just was what it was. And so I want to see how Pittsburgh or if Pittsburgh can dominate on the line of scrimmage. I think we have the potential to dominate on the line of scrimmage. And I'm very curious to see what our defensive line looks like going against this offensive line. I believe that is our strength. I believe that is where we are better. And nobody will probably argue that point. And it, because if this defensive line dominates, that also means that they're going to be able to stop the run, which will make Bo Nix a one-dimensional quarterback, which is what you want when you face a rookie. I will say, though, every time my Steelers play Denver, I always think about Tim Tebow's playoff win in overtime. And I know that's over. It was probably, what, 12 years ago, 10 years ago. But I still think about that win. But again, I am going to be looking at our off our defensive line versus their offensive line because I think that is a huge advantage for us. The third and final thing I'm going to be looking for, and I probably will say this over and over and over all year, is are we going to score a touchdown? I want to see what this offense looks like. I don't know what this offensive, I don't know what this offense is. I just don't know what they are. I don't know what their identity is. I think they have two really great running backs. I think they have really good receivers. That offensive line is suspect. We don't really know who our consistent quarterback is going to be. We're basically figuring it out. So I hope this game we get our first touchdown. I hope this game we score more than 20 points. I hope this game I can start to see the formulation of a offense. It, no matter even I don't even know what I want our identity to be, but I just hope our identity makes sense. I hope at the end of this game I can say, oh, our identity on offense is a run first offense that sets up play action. And that's 
going to be our identity. I just don't know what our identity is. So I don't want to sit up here and be like, oh, I'm expecting this because I honestly don't know. I just hope this is the game we score points. And I hope this is the game we take care of business. That's, that's the best I got, if I'm being honest. the day because I think we have a better defense because I think we have more experience at quarterback no matter who our quarterback is I think Pittsburgh should win this game I think Pittsburgh should take care of business I I'm hoping Pittsburgh has their first touchdown I hope we do all the things we're supposed to do and as I will probably say for the first you know couple of games of the season probably until like game five or six I want to see a, an improvement of what happened the previous game so the previous game our offense was stalled our previous game it just wasn't great we won we win ugly. That's what we do. If we're in an ugly football game, I will always take the Steelers almost over almost anybody because we play ugly very well. But I do expect us to win this game and I do expect it to look better. I hope walking away from this game, I am able to say, okay, we have some things established. We were better than that team. We beat that team and we move forward. So I am looking for a Steelers win on Sunday. I like these later games on Sunday because I feel like I can pay a little bit more attention to the Steelers. There's not so many other games going on. So I'm looking for the Steelers to start the season 2-0. and I think they beat the Broncos. I would love for them to beat the Broncos and then be able to go home and have their first home game being 2-0. and I think that's fantastic. This is this is our chance. So this is this is what we do, right? We go. We should be we should be the a good team that can go on the road and beat a team with a rookie quarterback with an offensive line that needs to figure out what they have going on and a running back room that to me kind of looks like whatever. So I hope the Steelers win this game. The Steelers should win this game. It would be amazing to start the season two and zero, especially with our division. I think we were the only team that won last week in our division. And let's be honest. Our quarterback play wasn't great, but our quarterback play was better than what we saw from the other team. So I'm just going to leave that out there. Take it for what you will. I'm a Steelers fan. I will always cheer for my Steelers. I will always, I will always hope that my Steelers come out, take care of business, and win. And I'm predicting them to win this game. So I will stop talking. If you haven't already, like, share, subscribe, add your comments below. I'd love to know what you have to hear. I would love, to, I would love to know what you have to hear. It's because I'm getting ready to say, here we go. And so I'm saying, anyways, I, anyways, let me just end this video here. As always, here we go. <laughs>